A big howdy and welcome back to all my faithful subscribers. It's good to have you back. I have another really fun uh, trip here for you today. Um, I'll get out and show everyone who's been uh, behind me for the last 35 miles. And right now we are in the small town of Klondike, um, which was for sale some time ago. Um, it looks like this is the general store here. Um, and we got all the fellas. This store, every time I've been out here, has been closed, but it's looking like somebody finally bought it, and uh, maybe they're running business out of here. We got the dudes here, and Sarah. Matt's over there talking talking smack about me being an influencer. <laughs> but he secretly likes to be on the camera because he's got a face made for it. It's looking like it's just gonna be the uh, four rigs this weekend. Brian might make it out, but he's been having truck issues. His truck's been at the shop for like two weeks. Um, Hayden bailed last minute. The uh, guy in the Chiricahua video um, last weekend we did in the uh, his uh, 12 valve Cummins. Um, I realized after he bailed, we wouldn't have a mustache man. So I busted out the trail loppers and knocked down the weird beard. And uh, I'm sporting this uh, bit more uh, performance tuned mustache. So we'll have some good luck here with us on the trip. Um, we're gonna be camping that away way out in Aravipa Canyon is where we're headed like I said we're in Klondike right now we're about seven miles from the canyon um, I've been out here about five times every time it's just wonderful uh, I'm really excited to get this weekend um, going it's the day after Thanksgiving we're all pumped but on Sunday if you've ever heard of the infamous Rug Road uh, it's located just on the other side of this canyon. We're on the northwestern range of the Galero Mountains and Rug Road actually works up to the north uh, and goes over uh, the pass and drops down on the Mammoth side. Um, so that's one of the most infamous roads in Arizona in my opinion. I told my dad about it and he got all wide-eyed and got real close and looked at me and goes, you're not even gonna make it. So. We'll see. I'm really hopeful that uh, these trucks will do good. I, I, I don't know if anyone's ever taken full sizes through there. Um, it's a pretty tight shelf road pass, very rocky. Um, so these Tundras, getting those through there, it's gonna be f like fitting a 10 pound cat in a five pound sack, but uh, we'll get it done. We'll get through. Um, I'm glad you're watching. Stick around. You're not gonna wanna miss the Rug Road Adventure. I'm really excited for that. And uh, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it.
Well, the drone went down. She's pretty chiggered up. The gimbal broke too, so I got a little bit of footage through this canyon, but I guess we won't be doing any droning through Rug Road, which is a big disappointment, but I at least got my drone back because these batteries are 110 bucks a piece. So if I have to get another drone, I'll have some batteries. I just pulled in. What's up? Hang on, hang on. I gotta get the light on. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're on. Byron's here. And our Donna. What up? Party start. symphony of snoring going on here, but me and the dog are still maybe going to sleep a little bit longer because it's quite cold out here. This canyon does not get light for some time, so I'm going to go back to bed. You need to wipe? Maybe. It didn't sound super wet, but it... I know, her butt cheeks are like... Yeah, I felt like fucking the drum sticks. I got my... Well, we are about all packed up. Uh, the plan this morning, everybody's kind of came together and thought we should probably walk up to the ruins. Um, I want to get some video of that because the ruins are really nice down in here. This deck system is making things really easy. Um, I can keep my air compressor on this side, my lighting, my headlamps, my toe straps, my shovel, pick, uh, chair. This side is great. I don't necessarily need it, so I might eventually reduce this to one side. 
and leave this for sitting space on this side. And over on this side, I've got tools, I've got spare brake lines, tire plug kit, my impact socket set, uh, two socket sets, a torque wrench, pretty much everything I would need for a trail breakdown. Um, and the deck system is just saving me a lot of hassle uh, from you know, not having to pull in and out a 200 pound Husky box or something. This thing is great. If you haven't noticed for how long this truck is squatted, um, I finally, finally got uh, some leaf springs. I bought a pack of leaf springs, uh, ADS triple bypasses, and uh, Icon Hydro bump stops for uh, 1500 bucks on Marketplace. Pretty good score. I um, was very happy about that. After I got the leaf springs on, they're the Icon RXTs. They're completely negatively arched, uh, so I think they had a little more miles on them than what I was told when he sold them to me, but um, Matt in the Orange Tundra hooked it up. Uh, he just got a new Deaver pack on his truck. He sold me his Icon RXTs, uh, the Stage 3 lift, um, and now I'm not dragging my ass behind. So we have decided to take a little walk before we head up Rug Road this morning. Um, we're gonna get a little head start today on Rug Road just because it's so long and getting out of here tomorrow is gonna take almost eight hours with five rigs. But we're headed out to the uh, cliff dwellings. Everyone's rolling. The dog's already got a nice head start up there. So this is one of the oldest inhabited spots in Arizona. I was reading almost 7,000 years of uh, Apache Indian history down here, which is just insane. 7,000 years people have lived down here. Um, we're gonna go check out one of the little houses. Uh, when we head up Rug Road this afternoon, we'll be going to the Copper Creek Mine, which is still abandoned. So the Copper Creek Mine is up Rug Road off of Copper Creek Road which like I said we'll be doing this afternoon um, and it was developed in the 1890s uh, it was a copper mine obviously by the name uh, there's still remnants of a lot of the machinery some of the housing um, I've never done this road it's a little intimidating from all the stories I've heard and videos I've seen our trucks are a little big but I'm very enthused to go see the uh, remnants of the mines which always intrigues me um, and Rug Road got its name from uh, the miners having to bring in carpets for their buggies hauling material out. So some of the remnants of the rugs are still there, which I'm really excited to find. There's also one of the original uh, avocado trees that was brought down here 300 years ago, or a bit less, by the uh, Spanish settlers conquistadors so I don't think we'll find that but a little cool piece of Aravipa history find a little camp spot at a spot called Parsons Grove, so uh, we'll maybe see up there.
We are looking for a camp spot right now. Um, we keep taking these spur trails. We're down near a spot in this pass called uh, Parsons Grove. Uh, it was an old working cattle ranch. Uh, we took a trail down uh, to see how far it would go to see if we could find a spot to camp. But this is just, it's way too tight for this truck um, and all our other big trucks. So we've turned around, uh, we're gonna find somewhere else. And take a little walk over here. Check out these old cattle pens. This is neat. It's an old dead white tail right there. Totally skinned. It's interesting. This is very cool. I'm not sure when they uh, this ranch was in service and when they gave it up, but you can tell it's very old structure with all the corrugated aluminum. inside here this must have been a barn to feed out the livestock in here it's an old chest freezer this must have been the ranch house old fireplace Got the old vanity. Oh, look. Got an old kill up here. And somebody had a party. Damn it, I didn't get it on video. So I was taking photos. Old Matt trying to be an influencer. Trying hard, man. Sometimes, to get the best camp spot, you uh, you have to improvise a little. And when you're uh, out here with these big old rigs, you don't fit everywhere. Uh. Spot number two.
So we're moving. Um, I know we had camp set up, things were going great. And out of nowhere, we were sitting around the fire and all of a sudden we hear a big old tumble and uh, Brian took a spill off like a 20 or 25 foot wedge. He didn't see, um, he didn't see the uh, edge of the wedge. Um, and we're basically camped on a cliff face. He went to go pee and took a big old spill. So we are currently on our way out of the campsite. We're gonna go back through Aravipa Canyon and try to get him to a hospital. Um, he seems to be okay. Uh, I'm worried about his back because I took a fall similar to this a few years ago and completely shattered my spine. Um, so I'm really worried about his back. I think he's okay. He's in better shape than I was post fall, but it doesn't matter. His finger looks broken. Um, he wanted to stay the trooper he is. We're going to get him out of here. We're going to haul ass back to Wilcox and uh, get him to a hospital. And I guess that's the end of this trip. So we will return to rug road eventually. Um, back with Brian but tonight it is most important to get our buddy out safe uh, to a place where he can get checked out and make sure he's not um, you know has any more serious problems other than his finger uh, so we're getting out of here guys sorry to cut the video short this is the most important thing to us because Brian's one of my best friends um, he's the heart and soul of this group so we want to get him out but I guess we'll catch you on the next one. We'll bring our rug road to you, um, but it's not gonna be this weekend. So until the next one, YouTube.